Of all the reasons that I've ever heard for somebody rejecting the theory of evolution, this pretty much takes the biscuit. It's the most absurd reason I have ever heard. Apparently, there is a causal link between um, teaching the theory of evolution and suicidal tendencies in teenagers. This is preposterous. First of all, let's look at the theory itself and what might that lead us to conclude about teenagers. Well, guess what? A teenager is typically in the pre-reproductive stage of their life. So the theory of evolution would teach us that such a person would primarily be preoccupied with spreading their genes. In other words, most teenagers will be obsessed with sex rather than gloomy ideas about ending their lives. And that is a fact. Obviously there are teenagers who are down in the dumps and there are teenagers who are really suffering to the point where they consider ending their lives. That is a terrible thing. But with the theory of evolution, this has nothing to do whatsoever. Like I said, it doesn't even explain it. But that was not the argument, of course. The argument is a typical slippery slope argument along the lines of the theory of evolution is completely materialistic. It is therefore nihilistic. It gives a person no spiritual focus whatsoever and therefore they will arrive at the frame of mind where they feel that it is all completely and utterly pointless anyway and therefore they will become suicidal. How absurd. Even if everything they said about the theory of evolution was true, it would still not be a valid argument against teaching it in school for a very simple reason and that is this the theory of evolution is the most successful theory theory to date that explains the fact that life has been evolving on this planet for the last several billion years denying the facts doesn't make facts go away. So if even if it were true that the theory of evolution would lead a person to become nihilistic and suicidal, then maybe we should look at how we can accept the facts of life in a way that makes us less inclined to become dismissive of its value. Not pretend that it is all not happening. Because it is. Evolution is a fact. Get over that. So we need to teach evolution in our schools. And there are plenty of ways in which you can adopt a naturalistic, non-supernatural outlook on life without becoming somebody who thinks that it's all pointless anyway. If you want an example of that, just look at my playlist on death.